on, what the hell is going on? Where am I going to sit? I'm just going to try to kneel down and see if I can stay, stay up like this. <laughs> Let me hurry up and get this done before my legs give out and I just pass, and I just fall down to the floor in the middle of this video. But anyway, um, we're doing favorite villains. Now, I'm not going to really get too intricate into it. Oh, I'm sorry. We 30, so we've been going this for a while now. Man, it's been a long time. Um, a few more weeks, I mean, a few more months, it'd be a year. But anyway, um, we're doing favorite villains. Now, I'm not going to get too intricate in it because, like Lim said, um, we did something very similar. It's like they just switching up the words and what, you know what I'm saying? And also, I don't want my legs to give out. So, anyway, I'm just going to say two people, okay? First one, let's just start off. I ain't saying, I'm not saying these are my favorites. They're just one, come some of my favorites, no particular order. These guys could be number 10 or number 20. Okay, first one, I want to say Emperor Pilaf, man. That was my boy in Dragon Ball. Because the reason why I liked him, because he was so funny and, and his interactions that he was having with Goku was just funny, man. He was just a fun villain before they got into all that um, hardcore fighting and stuff like that, which is good. I like I like both of them, but he was just a, a different type of villain. He was real funny, down to earth and stuff like that, even though he was trying to be evil. You know, so it was, so I, I was enjoying that. And another thing that I liked about him was his half-witted um, goons. I mean, them guys were just hilarious. Them guys didn't have any clue what they were doing. They were dumbfounded from every turn, man. And guess what? I'm going to hurry up and do this video for, two, uh, for another reason because, man, I had to do this about 10 times. For some for some reason, the camera wasn't working. This is some people... Uh, coming in my room as I'm doing this stuff I'm getting crowded and jammed up from every turn okay anyway the next guy I want, I'm gonna say Ho from um, Shaman King now forgive me if I'm screwing the name up I haven't seen Shaman King in about three years I haven't seen any episode in about three years so it's hard to remember ignore that god god damn Fuck out of here. Anyway, um, I'm just, like I said, I'm getting jammed up. So that's another thing I'm talking about. People calling me and shit like that, all in the damn video. Got people. Never mind. Let's get to the next one. Uh, ho. Now, if I screwed that up, forgive me. I'm sorry about that. Now, anyway, the thing I liked about him was he was a different type of feeling. This guy was just awesome, and he was the um sort of like the brother of the main protagonist you know what i'm saying and i liked his outfit but the, the weird thing about him was he didn't have anything on under, like he had a poncho but he was like he he, he was shirtless under it so he, i could like imagine him like in a in a trench coat and he shows up at your house and pulls off the trench coat has nothing on under it you know <laughs> so i was laughing about that but his spirit control and his the uh, spirit that he used, man, it was just awesome. It was awesome. He utilized it different than anybody in the show. And he was just super powerful, but he could be taken down. So, and he was like, he was like twins of the um, protagonist, but he wasn't like the twin. He was a twin, but wasn't. You get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, but Shaman King was one of my favorite series, so I gotta put that in there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and leave your comments, rate the video, subscribe, my uh, information down in the description box, and I'm out. Peace. My heart belongs to Aroni. She's my only love. She's my only love.